Peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy Vic Slain Hope. And I got another video for y'all. And today we are going to be discussing law number 10. This is one of my favorite laws, by the way. And it is infection. Avoid the unhappy and the unlucky. Now I'm going to read the judgment. It says, you can die from someone else's misery. Emotional states are as infectious as diseases. You may feel that you're helping the drowning man, but you are only precipitating your own disaster. The unfortunate sometimes draw misfortune on themselves. They will also draw it onto you. Associate with the happy and unfortunate instead. I mean, <laughs> associate with the happy and fortunate instead. And this is one of the important laws because a lot of times we let people come into our lives who have a lot of dysfunction and they're just self-destructive people. Now, we're not talking about misfortunes of people who things happen to them out of their control. We're talking about people who have self-destructive behaviors on a day-to-day -day basis. They have a negative mindset. It's always pessimistic. Things are always happening to these people. They're always in a situation, right? And it's usually because of something that they have done. This is the type of people that we are talking about, right? And we could have numerous examples, right? Like, like for example, I only let people tell me about their problems two times, maybe three. After that, because most of the time when you come tell me something, I'm either going to give you my advice if you're asking for it or, you know, if if I can kind of try to help, I'm going to try to help you. But after a while, like some of these people, they just, they love to stay in those type of situations. They love the dysfunction. They love, and again, it's because of what their own hands have, have brought forth, right? So this is the type of people you have to avoid because like the judgment says, they, they are infectious, you know, they're almost like a virus when if you don't keep if you don't frequent places where where, you know, you might expose yourself to viruses. Right. Then you can't really contract them. If that makes sense, unless some shit is airborne. But again, we're not talking about that. But for the most part, if you stay away from people who are infected with a virus, then it's less likely that you're going to catch that virus. So the same way, the same rules apply to this. Right. You got to avoid the unlucky and the unhappy people. That's why I always try to be around people that are happy, um, fortunate people. You know, like they say, like, if you want to become a millionaire, you have to be around millionaires. You have to be around. If you want to become fortunate, you have to be around people who are fortunate, who have fortune. Right. It only makes sense. Now, it says um, the reason is simple. Humans are extremely susceptible to moods, emotions and even the ways of thinking of those whom they spend their time with. So the more you spend time with somebody, the more you spend time with somebody, the more their character starts to affect you in a certain way. So if you spend time around people that's always happy, nine times out of ten, you're probably going to be happy too. They're probably going to arouse those type of emotions in you. But if you always around somebody that's sad and you always the person that's trying to cheer them up, you always the person that is trying to big them up, eventually that takes a toll on you. Like it says in the beginning, if you're out in the ocean with a person that can't swim, that's a misfortunate person, right? If you're out in the ocean and you're the only one that could swim and you so focused trying to save this person from drowning, eventually, you know what's going to happen? Y'all both going to drown, most likely, right? Because you're over exhausting yourself, not only to try to keep you alive, but you're trying to keep, you're carrying the load of this person that can't swim and you're trying to keep them alive. That's why lifeguards usually have a little the little plastic thing where they could put you on it because it takes away, you know, from the pressure on them and on their bodies. So you got to be mindful of them people because I know a lot of us know people like that. that has, they always in something. They always got some negative stuff going on. They always got some misfortune going on. They always got some problems. Right. So be aware. It says the incurably unhappy and unstable have a particularly strong Strong effect and power because their characters and emotions are so intense. These people, they're very intense in their feelings. <clears throat> they often present themselves as victims, making it difficult at first to see their mis the miseries are self-inflicted. Before you realize the real nature of their problems have been infected by them. You know, um, the problems you have been infected. So it says before you realize the real nature of their problems... You have been infected by them. So by the time you realize that this person is, a lot of times this is what happens. A lot of times, by the time you realize that this person is a problem, they already got you. 
They already got you messed up. It's almost like cancer, right? Sometimes, by the time, because people don't be checking up on themselves, and I'm just using that as a scenario, because people don't be going to the clinic frequently or, or, or running these tests. It's similar, right? Because we don't be checking up on these people and really knowing what they're really about or really seeing because they're playing victim all the time. So by the time we realize, by the time we go to the doctor and realize we actually get checked out, we realize, damn, your cancer is too advanced. You know what I'm saying? You're going you know, to die from it. It's the same thing with this. By the time we, sometimes, by the time we realize that these people are infected, right, or they are self-detrimental, self-destructive, um, by the time we realize it, usually we get caught up in a situation, and now we are the ones working, trying to get out of those situations. Um, like it says here, a virus unseen, it enters your pores without warning, spreading silently and slowly. Before you are aware of the infection, it is deep inside you. So... It says recognize the fortunate. It says recognize the fortunate so that you may choose their company, and the unfortunate so that you may avoid them. Um. So <clears throat> we see this all the time. Like there's a lot of people that come into our lives, and like I said, man, they just have a lot of stuff going on. And sometimes, like I like I like it says in the book, they come off as victims. They come off as somebody's always doing something to them. They come off as like. You know, they just always need help. They always need help. They always in the situation. And again, we're not talking about the people who are dealing with situations that they didn't have no control over. We're talking about people who put themselves day to day, minute by minute, second by second in situations that they know are detrimental. And even if they don't know, that's none of your problem. At the end of the day, it might sound a little crazy, but you can't give any you can't give nobody no water if you ain't got no water in your jug right meaning that like you have to be able to be in a good place yourself and a lot of times we be trying to help these people again because they present themselves as victims and we be trying to help them but a lot of times they are in their in those situations oftentimes because of something that their hands have done and because of some self-destructive behaviors so again this is one of my favorite laws avoid the infection stay away from these people at all costs it's okay you know sometimes we got friends we got family members that we try to help it's cool you might extend your, your help one time two times but don't stay in those situations because the only person that is end up that end up getting drained is you <laughs> and i'll leave you out with this example it's almost like being in a relationship with a person that has mental health issues now again that might not be due to them you know, or maybe they put themselves in a situation where they was traumatized and, and they stay there too long. Regardless of the fact, it is not your job. And again, because these people come to us with the victim thing, right? With the victim um, speech and stuff. A lot of times, and even if they are victims, a lot of times we as humans, we care to help them. We want to genuinely help them. But a lot of times what ends up happening is sometimes people, these people need professional help. And a lot of us are not really professionals. And because we are not professionals... You know, we end up getting sucked into the, the, the emotions that they're feeling, the negative environment, um, the negative mindset, the you know pessimistic, deplorable state of being. And because we stay in those situations and because we care so much and because we're trying to help them, we end up getting infected. You know, it's almost like, again, like I mentioned, if you work at a hospital and you're a nurse or you're whatever... You know, with the virus, like coronavirus, right? If you was, you know, they told people to stay away from each other. They told people, oh, don't go around each other. Stay away from each other. Avoid the infectious, right? Avoid these people because, again, you can get, um, you can get affected. Um, so people, you got to start viewing people the same way. People have, like I've been around people who, they have crazy mood swings to the point where it's like, you could be happy. And then the moment you get around them, they suck out the whole, the whole energy out of you. Not just you, but the room. I've seen people just walk into a room and because they feel some type of way and they mad at the world and they're dealing with their misery, they take out the whole, like, they take out the whole joy out of the room. You ever seen people go to parties and they are miserable and they, they start a fight at a party or they'll shoot up a party. They'll do something. They'll do something crazy at the party. Just because people are having a good time. People do this all the time. You got dudes. Sometimes a dude is buying out the bar. You know, like, 
a dude is buying out the bar, he getting everybody drinks, and there's some hater in the cut, like, he think he all that. He think he this. He, that's misery. That's misery. And you know what they'll do? Them dudes will shoot up the party or nobody going to have fun now. Miserable people. You got to avoid those type of people. That's just an example. But we see misery in the hood all the time. We see people who, when you try to tell them things that, that you're working on, when you try to tell them, yo, I'm working on this, you know, you tell them about your good fortunes, they be mad. They say like, oh, or when you try to tell them about your plans, they're always saying some negative stuff. This are These are infectious, unhappy people, right? They, they low-key hating. They low-key steal from your blessings. So stay away from these people. Um, Let me know what y'all think about this law in the comment section. If you like the content, make sure you share it and you subscribe to the channel. Peace.